For decades, we thought we understood the story. The big bang and explosive birth of time and space. Then came the slow, delicate dance of galaxies forming, stars being born from the void. Matter swirling into order from nothingness. But what if I told you that everything we thought we knew is now hanging by a thread? Because the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful machine ever built to peer into the past, has just captured something no one was ready for. Clusters of stars that are far too dense. Black holes that are unimaginably massive. Ancient. Cosmic structures too organized to belong in the chaotic beginning of everything. These aren't just anomalies. They're not random glitches. This is not a one-off cosmic accident. What Webb is uncovering is a growing storm of evidence that points to a chilling possibility. That the universe didn't begin with the Big Bang. Or at least, not in the way we always believed. It all started with something almost too quiet to. Notice, decades ago, telescopes like Spitzer detected a huge dust cloud surrounding the star Beta Pictress. A sign of a massive collision, the kind of violent chaos that shapes planets and stars. This was supposed to be a monument to that destruction, a lingering marker in the cosmos. But when James Webb turned its gaze back to Beta Pictress, the cloud was simply gone. No thermal signature, no lingering particles, as if the event never happened at all. Dot scientists offered cautious explanations. They said the dust must have dispersed, cooled, faded. But the speed and completeness of its disappearance defy everything we know. And that was only the beginning. In the swirling depths of Jupiter's great red spot, Webb uncovered mysterious structures no one had ever seen before. Gravitational waves twisted the atmosphere into strange, repeating patterns hints of forces we barely understand. It's as if the universe, long veiled in distance and chaos, is finally revealing itself, pulling back the curtain showing us a reality that's been hiding in plain sight. When Webb looked even deeper, further back into what we thought was the universe's childhood, things grew stranger still. Where we expected to find formless clouds of raw, chaotic gas, we instead found star clusters, dense, organized, glowing fiercely in the dark, in a galaxy formed just for 160 million years after the Big Bang. Webb didn't find one of these clusters, but five, each one too dense, to mature, to perfect to fit our models, and nearby, three ancient red stars shimmered with a brilliance. That should have taken billions of years to develop, but the timeline doesn't allow for that. The universe wasn't even a billion years old at that point, so how can stars older than the universe appear in its supposed infancy? And then came the most mind-bending discovery yet supermassive black holes. Not just big ones, black holes ten times larger than Sagittarius Asterisk, the monster at the heart of our own Milky Way. Born just 600 million years after the beginning, their existence breaks every law of cosmic formation we understand. Unless something much older was already at work. Something that predates the beginning itself. Imagine a galaxy a thousand times smaller than the Milky Way, yet somehow containing just as much matter. Every star, every speck of gas and dust crushed into an impossibly tight knot of existence. At its center, a black hole so vast and so near that, if you lived in that galaxy, you'd see a glowing, terrifying ring in the sky brighter and larger than the full moon. Scientists aren't just confused, they're stunned. Because if galaxies like this could form so early, the obvious question becomes, why did they stop? What changed? Why did cosmic creation slow after such an unimaginable, explosive start? One leading astronomer put it bluntly, this is the strangest and most interesting set of objects I've seen in my entire career. For the universe to look like this, so soon after its supposed birth, would require a new mechanism of galaxy formation, something exotic, something that bends the rules we thought were absolute, something we've never seen before daughters these. Cosmic anomalies pile up. One radical question begins to rise among the world's top scientific minds. What if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning? What if black holes these dense, timeless titans didn't form after the explosion, but survived it? Enter the oscillating universe theory, a cosmos that expands and collapses in endless cycles. If the previous universe collapsed into a 
Singularity? Then perhaps some black holes endured the destruction carrying with them the seeds of a new universe. If that's true, then the ancient, impossible structures Webb is detecting aren't new at all. They're survivors. Echoes. Remnants of a universe that lived, died, and was born again. If this theory holds, then the James Webb Space Telescope isn't just looking into the past. It's looking beyond the beginning. It's uncovering a memory so ancient, so vast, that it could rewrite our entire place in the cosmos. And perhaps, the most chilling part, this might only be the start of a revelation we're not ready to face. Until now, our understanding of the universe rested on a fragile balance. A model stitched together over decades, revised and patched after every new discovery. But what James Webb is uncovering isn't a small tear, it's a growing cascade of contradictions. Ripping through the fabric of modern physics, it's not just one galaxy that doesn't fit. Not just one black hole. It's an orchestra of impossible. Observations each one playing louder, more defiantly, with every image sent back. The standard cosmological model once seen as unshakable, is beginning to crack. Galaxies shine to brightly. Black holes grow to fast. Cosmic structures appear where there should be only disorder. Theorists scramble to keep up. Some propose faster mechanisms for galaxy formation. Others whisper about exotic forms of matter that warp gravity itself. But beneath the polite papers and academic conferences, a quiet fear is taking root. What if the universe we believed in never existed the way we thought? And as that fear grows, something more unsettling is beginning to unfold not in the data, but in the hearts of the scientists. Usually, revolutionary findings are rushed to press. But now, interviews are vague. Papers are delayed. Once excited voices are now cautious, wrapped in sterile language, behind closed doors, in private roundtables and hushed conferences, the real conversations happen. Some researchers are beginning to admit, we don't know what we're seeing. Others worry that if these discoveries reach the public too soon, the consequences both scientific and philosophical could be chaotic. Because if the James Webb Space Telescope is truly revealing structures older than the Big Bang, if black holes and galaxies appear where none should, then this doesn't just rewrite astronomy. It rewrites everything. Maybe humanity isn't ready to know that the universe isn't a clean, simple story with a beginning and an end. Maybe the truth is bigger, darker, and stranger than we've ever dared to imagine. And as the mysteries mount, new theories once relegated to the realm of science fiction are starting to sound chillingly. Plausible. One hypothesis suggests that the universe isn't just cyclical, expanding and collapsing like a cosmic breath. It might be programmable like code written into the fabric of space and time itself. Patterns observed in galaxy formations, star, clustering, even dark matter's behavior they seem to deliberate to be random. What if James Webb isn't capturing random echoes of a bygone universe, but fingerprints? What if these ancient structures survive not by chance but by design? A cosmic memory encoded into the bones of existence echoing through each new cosmos like a message left behind. It sounds impossible. But then again, so did black holes, so did dark energy, and with every image James Webb sends back, the line between theory and reality gets harder to see. And so we arrive at the final paradox. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to look back further than we've ever seen to witness the universe's infancy. But what it's showing us instead is a universe that already looks grown up. The early universe should have been wild, chaotic, disorganized. Instead, we see massive galaxies, intricate structures, ancient light that glows with a maturity that shouldn't exist. It forces us to ask, are we really witnessing the birth of the universe? Or are we staring at the embers of a universe that came before bones of a cosmos that never truly died? Some scientists now whisper of cosmic memory residue the theory that ultra-dense structures, like black holes carried matter, energy, and even information across the supposed boundary of the Big Bang. If so, then Webb isn't just a telescope. It's a time machine aimed not at our beginning, but someone else's end. And what it's revealing may only be the surface of something far older 
far deeper and far more terrifying than we ever imagined. James Webb was supposed to be our window into the beginning, our key to the spark that set the universe in motion, but instead it has shown us shadows, echoes, remnants of a reality that came before, ancient black holes that shouldn't exist, galaxies to develop for their age, structures carved into space-time before they were supposed to be a before. These aren't glitches. They're signs, warnings. The universe didn't simply start. It may have always been collapsing and rebirthing, leaving behind fingerprints. We are only now learning to see dot the truth is simple, terrifyingly simple. We have never stood at the beginning of anything. We have always been standing in the ruins of something far older.